Dong Ying is in reach of uh, oil, gas, and uh, plenty of solid salt. Behind me is uh, the oil well. You can see over here, th over there is an uh, oil well. Later, we will visit uh, the some shrimp farm, which is uh, intensive shrimp farming. They use underground water. Those water is uh, brackish water, high salinity, and the temperature is very, very stable from the beginning to the end of the year. Okay, the, the farmers use uh, these resources to culture the good quality shrimp. And uh, because this water is uh, short, uh, pathogen free, it's clean and temperature uh, consistent for the farming, we no need to increase the uh, temperature, especially during the winter time. A farm which is very famous in China, actually famous is due to the culture method. Because now in China, we have so many kinds of uh, culture, like uh, the, the farm, which is uh, extensive culture, like the intensive, we use uh, the pen pump, we use the um, concrete, we use the, the other kind of uh, like the canvas. So today I'd like to introduce the pond which is covered by a PE membrane and the whole pond like like uh, a channel uh, similar to um, this way. But uh, all the whole pond, the whole pond is uh, covered by PE membrane and uh, the length is 40 meters and the width is uh, about 9.6. 9 the depth of the pond is 80 centimeters. The whole area is about uh, 4, 400 square meters. Okay, but the density is uh, 100 to 150 per square meter. This pond can produce about 600 kilograms to 800 kilograms, depends on. And uh, let's move in the, the, the pond, see, have a look at the shrimp in the, let's go. Okay, this is a detailed detail of the uh, temperature, the thermometer, and uh, this is a feed tree. Let's pick up, you can see the water is very cloudy, but it's very nutritious to the shrimp. Okay, let's slowly pick out the, the tree, have a look at the, the stream. Okay, so okay, this is uh, around 60 days. The stream almost uh, 100 uh, kilograms. Okay, take out, take out the can see. Can see the stream? Okay, so you can see the hypotopan grid fully covered with uh, the wet membrane actually the wet membrane is a lipid okay if fully covered that means the shrimp is very healthy and they can digest digest as well okay later we can digest one dissect one we can dissect one shrimp to have a look the capital pancreas and actually, uh, we talked to the boss of uh, this farm. He mentioned that this is contaminated by EHP. Uh, months ago, many sales managers talked to him to clear the pond and selling, but he insisted to keep. And uh, he used his own way to control the EHP now. After one month, the shame grew bigger and bigger. Okay. So I uh, talked to him about how to control EHP and uh, actually the EHP is very very common in, in China this year. He mentioned that he used some secret product to treat the water at the meantime treat the, the shrimp. He used some product make mix with uh, the feed and feed to the shrimp. After one month the shrimp uh, grew bigger but uh, even a, a bit slow than the normal shrimp but uh, still quite good. Can I mean compared to 
clear the pan. If clear the pan, definitely will lost uh, the, all the investment. And now we get back some money. Okay, May, even the profit is a bit low, but this is has uh, innovative ways to treat EHP. Okay, and for the culture, now this area have five thousand. Uh, such kind of town and this pond we uh I mean from Zhejiang, uh, uh, Jiangsu and uh, here is Shandong Dongyang. We use this type of uh, pond. It's very uh, successful and uh, stable in terms of uh, production, in terms of uh, survival rate. At the beginning they uh, no any water change maybe similar to the bell block system but after one month or two months they start to change the water flow to one side is inlet of water another side is outlet of the water okay after 90 days the shim can be uh, a 60 to 80 piece per kilogram which is a uh, market size okay i think uh, in future we, we will introduce more uh, culture in the uh, the method of uh, shrimp culture in China, maybe intensive farming. This is a semi-intensive. We have the intensive farming. We have the super intensive farming. For the intensive farming, let me introduce next time. And uh, for the super intensive, of course, we will visit uh, maybe next month or the month of following, and uh, let you know. Okay, thanks.